This could be the biggest advancement in artificial intelligence since the Transformers model. Imagine being able to run even the largest of large models on any device and at fast speeds. And the best part, it's based on a technology that has been around for decades. I'm gonna explain what this is, why it's so important, and at the end, how you can start using this today. Let's go. For those of you who have been living under a rock for the past six months, large language models is the technology powering ChatGPT. These models are an incredible step forward in reaching artificial general intelligence and have already proven themselves to be incredibly valuable to society. But ChatGPT, the most prominent model, is centralized and closed source, posing a major problem for people and organizations throughout the world in terms of privacy, security, cost, and transparency. After ChatGPT, large open source models started to get released, Llama, Bloom, MPT, and more. These models are free, transparent, open source and easy to install if you watch my videos. But there's one huge drawback to open source models. They require modern and often very expensive hardware to run. To run a mid-sized 33 billion parameter model, you likely need a thousand dollar plus GPU to get decent inference speeds. That is prohibitive for the majority of people throughout the world. So if you wanna play around with large language models, you've really had two options to date. Use a third-party proprietary API like ChatGPT or invest in a very beefy graphics card for your computer. But now we have a third option. Introducing pedals, a decentralized method of running and fine tuning large language models. Remember how I said this runs on technology that's been around for decades? Well, you can think of this as torrents for AI. You remember torrents, right? It's that technology that you definitely didn't use to illegally download movies and music. With pedals, every model is basically broken down into little blocks and stored on individual computers throughout the world. These aren't huge, massive mainframe computers. These are end user consumer grade computers. And only small pieces are stored on each device. So you really don't need much to contribute to this network. And of course, since it's a torrent, that's how it works. It benefits from having lots of contributors. So you store a little piece of this model on your computer combined with all the other people throughout the world who are doing the same thing, and all of a sudden, you have the most powerful AI computer in the entire world. And you can even run it on the free tier of Google Colab, so it doesn't even need to run on your local hardware. And of course, again, because it's a torrent, the more people that use it, the more people that contribute, the better the total network gets. Right now, Pedals is achieving five to six tokens per second on the Llama 65 billion parameter model, which is really insane thinking that the best consumer graphics card you can get is unable to run that model directly. Here's a breakdown of the speeds Pedals can achieve with different models and different server configurations. So how do you use it? You can be a client, you can be a server, or you can be both. As a client, you're using the network to train or run your models. As a server, you're providing your hardware to the network to help run these models. And to be a client, you don't have to worry about server architecture, swarm health, or anything else. You simply run some Python code from the Pedals library. To be a server, again, it's dead simple, and you just spin up a server using a few lines of Python code. You can even create your own private swarm. But what I'm really excited about is where this can go. Since everything is distributed and models and parts of models aren't necessarily directly dependent on each other, this might be especially good for the mixture of experts architecture, which is supposedly how GPT-4 is able to achieve such amazing quality using eight separate trained models working in coordination. There's one main drawback for the distributed model in torrent computing. It does require people to donate their idle resources, meaning if you have a GPU, let's say you're using it five, 10% maximum of the total time that it's just sitting there. So it depends on people donating that idle time to the broader network. But let's talk about that for a second. How do you incentivize people to donate their idle GPU time? One obvious way that I see is by rewarding people for their compute power. You could probably see where I'm going with this. Blockchain. Imagine that each node on the network that is contributing their compute power is able to be rewarded for that compute power. And there could be a few ways to implement this, but one way is as a non-contributing client, you get a certain amount of compute, but 
as a contributing server, you're given rewards that can give you priority or higher usage of the total network. And of course, these tokens could be traded for monetary value. So it really incentivizes contribution to the total network. Currently, Petals supports the Bloom and Llama models. And these are really the main open source models out there. And it couldn't be easier to use, check this out. So with these few lines of code, we can do both inference and fine tuning. You just import from the Petals library and then ask it to generate a response. With this few lines of code, it really is dead simple. If you want me to do a whole video tutorial on Petals, let me know in the comments below. This is another huge step towards a fully decentralized artificial intelligence world. I'm gonna be testing this out both as a client and a server and I'm really excited to use it. My GPU is idle 90% of the day when it's not running these large language models or playing Diablo 4. I'll drop links to everything in the description below, and if you like this video, please consider giving me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.